Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and the Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the achievement made by the Bahrain Merida team in their second appearance in the World Tour Cycling Championship. He added that the team's presence is strong in these championships and this achievement is a great beginning and it creates optimism for the future of the team in upcoming championships. Ramunas Navardaskas scored first place in the third phase of the 11.9 km in the San Juan Championship. This event is the second participation of the Bahrain Merida team after the positive results made in the Down Under Championship in Australia, which is the first appearance of the team after the official launching. His Highness praised the achievement amid the high-leveled experience of the team and he affirmed that they are able to make more accomplishments and enhance the status of the kingdom in various global events. He said that he was optimistic while following up on the progress of the team and added that Ramunas Navar Daskas was able to achieve the winning title and the team is aspiring to achieve even higher places in the upcoming events. He expressed aspiration to create further accomplishments and he directed the team to continue their efforts and keep up their high spirits to make more accomplishments in the future. Solar One, a factory being set up to manufacture solar panels, had their opening ceremony recently held under the patronage of the Minister of Electricity and Water, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza. More in this report with Shogh Mohammed. The launching of Solar One is the first step in a distinctive initiative to support Bahrain's policy of encouraging investment and use of solar energy to produce electricity. According to the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, the plant will help diversify the energy sources of Bahrain, which will attract new technologies that will help diversify the national economy. In the last few years, there have been tremendous changes, fundamental changes in the energy industry. For example, we have all heard that the price of crude has collapsed in the last two years, and there is volatility in the price of the crude and the gas. Plus, the technology in the renewable energy has advanced quite fast, and the cost of renewable energy has come down. Here in Bahrain, all our energy is generated from natural gas. Uh, for example, electricity and water, the industries, everything, all the other uh, organizations use uh, natural gas to generate energy. So if the gas before was subsidized, the cost was little. So therefore, the cost of production of a kilowatt hour of electricity was cheaper. Now it is going to go up. And the tariffs have gone up as well, the electricity and water tariff. So all this means that now we need another source to diversify the source of the energy. Bahrain government uh, approved uh, recently a target of 5% renewable by 2025 and 10% by 2035. So it means by that time, if it is 5%, it means instead of 100% uh, natural gas as a source, 95% is gas, 5% renewable, and later 90% gas, 10% renewable. With the opening of Solar One, the national plant to increase energy efficiency has begun. For Bahrain News, I'm Shogh Mohammed. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended today a ceremony marking the International Customs Day held by Customs Affairs in the presence of the Deputy Interior Minister, the Under Secretary of the General Directorate of Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, the President of the General Security, and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior. The ceremony included the launch of the Customs Affairs Strategy for the years 2017-2020, which comes in line with the 2030 Economic Vision and the Government's Work Program. The strategy, which is the outcome of a professional and scientific study, corresponds to the directives of the international customs organizations and meets the work requirements through focusing on a number of principles regarding customs work. The Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Customs Affairs for their role in maintaining security, facilitating passenger movements, as well as developing trade and economy. 
He commended the strategy and its aspired goals and encouraged the staff of Customs Affairs to come up with recommendations and initiatives in order to raise the level of performance. He stressed the importance of developing customs through restructuring, regulating customs, and implementing the strategy. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of the Customs Affairs for introducing the new strategy and for the staff for their continuous efforts. For his part, the President of the Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he thanked the Minister of Interior for his support to Customs Affairs, adding that the goal of the new strategy is to improve customer service in light of the directives of the wise leadership. He said that the strategy was planned internally with the participation of all custom administrations in order to strengthen the institutional framework to meet the requirements of the next stage. Sheikh Ahmed added that the biggest challenge lies within applying the concepts of facilitating passenger movements and legitimate trade on one hand and enhancing community security on the other hand. He hailed the vital role of custom partners in all fields, which helps to ensure the success of customs tasks. The President of Customs noted that they aspire to achieve their goals by the year 2020, which are to support all members to develop their abilities and to provide them with all their needs. A documentary presented the strategy's principles and goals and showed the importance of communication with customs partners to strengthen community partnership. The Minister of Interior honored a number of authorities affiliated to the Customs Affairs, members of the strategy planning team, as well as a number of Customs Affairs staff. He hailed their efforts and wished them success in serving the kingdom.